Hey, this is Darkwan223. Um, I originally had audio for this video, but uh, I messed it up because uh, I uh, reformatted my computer to fix the freezing problem, which got me into the predicament that I'm in in this video. And uh, I forgot to look at my FRAP settings when I reinstalled it, so I wasn't recording my audio when I was recording this actual video, but... Um, I believe at this point I was pointing out my surroundings and how cool they are. Like, this is pretty close to where I, I spawned in my new spawn location, and just. I, I was just awestruck by the mountains when I first came across this, across this area. I mean, that's. Big lake, these huge mountains. And the waterfalls are pretty cool, too. And the cool thing about waterfalls is, like, you'll see it upcoming in the video, and I'll point it out, is that. Uh, you know, the water freezes when you're in Ice World, but uh, if the source block of water is covered, I've found that the water will keep flowing. So all you really have to do is have a source block either near a heat source or covered up so it's shielded from the environment, and you'll have water flowing in a waterfall, like right here. You can see the ice, but uh, this area that I'm diving into now is covered. Even the water underneath the ice is covered, so it still remains liquid. And that, you know, is how you explain the waterfalls, because they're covered by mountain. At least partially. The source block. Um, now you're going to see me, like, you know, marking a few caves just to go back to. You know, at this point I have no idea where I am. Uh, I'm pretty sure... Uh, I know my structures are out there somewhere because I'm on the same map. That's obvious to me. I just... Uh, I don't know where on the map. And since the maps are so huge, you know, I could be... 10 feet away from one of my bases, I could be hundreds of feet. I have no idea if spawn locations are regulated in any sort of way that you would uh, end up spawning in a certain radius, you know, if that makes any sense. Like, spawn locations only occur in a certain radius. But uh, here I'm, I'm getting some iron, which is probably the first time ever that I've found iron not in some sort of cave, like just iron just sitting out. I thought it was really cool, actually. You know, I couldn't believe it when I first saw it because I was kind of running by. It was starting to get a little dark because uh, I'd been out punching trees, basically, <laughs> trying to get enough resources to uh, find a place to hold up for the night. And uh, I believe I was looking for coal at the time that I saw the iron, so it really wasn't a top concern of mine because I had like a wood pick and I'm not even sure wood picks will work on that. But here I'm, I'm just looking for something familiar. Something that will tell me where my base is one of them, any of them. You know, at this point, I would love to just run into anything familiar. I just have no idea where I am. But I do realize that I need food. So I think I'd go for this pig. Eh, maybe not. Oh, yeah, I do. I realize right there that if I'm going to survive, I need some food from somewhere. <laughs> And, of course, the pig doesn't drop any. It's just my luck. <clears throat> and I know I'm thinking about farming, too, at this point, because... Uh, that's at least a, a, a re constant, reliable source of food. Uh, but farming is so much harder in Winter World, because uh, uh, I did an experiment earlier in one of my, uh, my first base, I believe, where... I 
you know, put out some wheat right outside my base. And the one plant died, and I believe it died because it was on soil that was being touched by snow. And it wasn't near a torch, because uh, torches will melt snow. Any heat source will melt snow and keep it melted. So that is until the, the Halloween patch comes out. <laughs> oh, I'm not looking forward to that. I am, but I am. Or I am, but I'm not. I'm looking forward to a lot of the all new content, but uh, the whole torch thing, uh, that's going to make coal a lot more of a valuable resource. Uh, that's probably the point, because a lot of times when you get to a certain area and you have enough resources, you end up passing by a lot of coal because you have, like, I don't know, a couple stacks of coal. And it isn't that hard to use coal to melt stuff down. Like, it's way more efficient than using wood, because wood, like, barely burns anything down. Uh, especially, like, iron and stuff, but... Coal is definitely going to be something that people will use a lot more often once... Uh, Notch releases the Halloween patch and torches can actually go out. Um... I can really see lava becoming a lot more useful as a light source. Uh, having some frame rate issues. I don't know. I think it's the snow because I never usually have frame rate issues like this in my other worlds. I mean, I suppose I could turn down the clip plane by hitting F, but then I can't see anything. Because uh, I've accidentally hit the clip plane button before. And it always uh, throws me off. There's me taking down a big tree. I still wonder how trees get like that. It must be more than one tree that just ends up growing together. Uh, oh, this is where I come across this really huge uh, <coughs> natural formation and I fall. Which is really great considering that I don't have like a food source and I think I glance at my health at some point later on and kind of realize that I'm in dire straits. Oh, I should have thrown down some torches because that is just a really neat looking natural formation. And of course I find my way back. <laughs> I just imagine it'd be so much easier getting down if that water was not frozen. Because then you could just, you know, jump off the edge, land in the water, and be okay. Not in Snow World, though. Oh yeah, this is where I remember about the lava. It's it's so strange, because I barely ever see lava above ground. Like, usually you have to dig pretty far in to get to lava. And this is where I point out that lava has the same effect on water that torches do. And I do briefly wonder about those blocks down there before I realize that uh, lava like that does create cobblestone when it touches water. It is kind of weird, though, that the other parts of the lava, like you can see the lava sitting there, it's not cobblestone, even though it is touching the water. I don't know what the deal with that is, cause especially since the bottom part turned, but... Of course, coal. And frame rate issues. Major frame rate issues. Uh, I have resolved that too, though, so I shouldn't be seeing too many more frame rate issues unless the problem is with running fraps as well as running Minecraft. But I don't think so. I'm going to try it again in my next video to see what happens. 
These waterfalls here are so cool. You know, just watching this right now, I'm thinking... Why isn't that water frozen? I mean, obviously the source block is, is covered, so it's not freezing, but... That just seems like a lot of water sitting down on the ground. Oh, nightfall. I'm pretty sure I end the video right here. Uh, cause it's getting to be nightfall and I decide to go in for the night. And, uh, plan my next couple moves cause... Things aren't looking too good with three hearts. And no food source. I just gotta take one last look just for the fun of it. Uh, anyhow, I'm just gonna let the rest of the video run out. I think there's like 19 seconds. So, uh... I'll get back to you guys on my next video. And... It should all work properly. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time.